Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We got a little bit of the game inside the game last episode, which I loved with the crowd and their influence. Um, it can be a great asset for teams and I'm sure the crowd loves to feel part of it and feel part of the action. But we got a little back and forth and our girl Psycho showed up. Probably said that wrong, you know who I mean, Tanaka's sister. I have loved her from the beginning. I love her spunk, her personality, her sassiness. So I love that she brought her drum group to be part of the cheer squad for Karasuno. I think they'll be a huge help. Um, we saw how important the serve and pass game is. Karasuno is a little too influenced by the crowd right now. I'm hoping they will settle in, but their serving definitely got affected and Inarizaki is a very good serving team. So their pass was struggling a bit too. But the setters are battling it out. Kageyama is showing that he knows what's up, but Atsumu is right there with him. And we just ended the last episode with Atsumu and Osamu, I think that's his twin's name, running a freak quick of their own. So here we go. I am very excited. I am on edge. Um, I don't know if it's stress or excitement or maybe both, but it's fair to say I'm here for it. So here we go. <laughs> We're only halfway through like the first set and I'm already losing it. So I really need to get it together. I need to just breathe. <laughs> but today we are watching season four, episode 15 of Haikyuu called Found. Um, I'm thinking, like I said last episode, we'll probably get a little more into the back and forth of the volleyball, like on court specific stuff. At least I hope so, because these teams are legit and this is gonna be a point for point battle, I think. I hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I also love how Bokuto, Elf, um, and all of the other characters are there watching. Um, it just adds to the atmosphere, you know? It adds to the excitement. So anyways, here we go. I need to see what happens here. I'm sweating already. So without any further ado, we're gonna watch season four, episode 15 of Haikyuu right now. All right. <sighs> Little taste of their own medicine. It's scary. しんないなんかしてへんけども人の言うこと聞いてへんしあんな残したおこせやおこしたし日直やからさっき行く言うたやんかしたも解散し俺のジャケット貸してそれは一回返したやつが言うセリフやくせへんおい嘘つくしでも
And then he just said like, yeah, why wouldn't you copy something that's so cool? So like that aspect I appreciate and I think it's like really interesting and a, a neat part of his character and who he is. But I'm curious to learn more because I can say I was thrown off at the youth camp when he called Kageyama Goody Two Shoes. You guys put me in my place for that, I know. But to see who he is now and how he's reacting to different things that Karasuno is doing, I'm definitely liking him a lot more than I did Oikawa at the beginning. Okay, like that was a low bar, right? But I'm liking him a lot more. Oof. Holy crap. They better pass a whole lot better. <laughs> oh, great dig. I love the mind games, man. This is... It's seeming a lot worse than the score would indicate. Interesting. Determined. Part of the fun of volleyball in a situation like this, or I would just say sports or games in general, is not only figuring out what the other team is going to do to try and like trying to stop them, but also figuring out what does the other team know about me and how will they try to stop me? So it's multifaceted because obviously you're trying to like prevent the other team from scoring points. But the next piece of that is like, they're trying to stop you too. So you need to put yourself in the other team's shoes and be like, okay, if I was them, what would I do against me? And Kageyama and Karasuno in general needs to get to that point because it is kind of like a chess match of just like moving pieces and seeing what the reaction and counter movement is going to be. I'm, I'm all about that. I love that. That's a great dig. Uh, tip it. Umbrella swing. Or in between. What? Yes, okay. That's what I was thinking. Oh, 
Hmm. I was just thinking that. Hmm. How is this guy still serving? Like, they scored a point. Soft eyes. Yeah, baby. That ball hit the ground before he did. Yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's true. It is so, I'm not saying that they're the best, but it's so great to have a team that you can practice against that does just like high level things because then you get used to do it, making high level decisions and high level moves all the time. And this is perfect. You could see Tsukushima's eye work picking up the different attack routes and like using that to gather information. The ma He's smart, you guys. I know you know that, I'm just reminding you, okay? Nice touch. Are those the line judges or the referees? And Tanaka, don't forget about him. <laughs> no, he's good. Give him credit. In the face, he's gonna dig it off his face or dodge it out of bounds. I'm fine with that. fun of him, are you kidding me? Have some respect. Serve tough and stop it. He's gonna love that. Hey, get it together. Sorry. <laughs> Reach it. Yeah, but yes, 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 I have goosebumps. Like, mm. Boof, I'm gonna dunk on you. <sighs> yes. Yeah, he learned, baby. Oh, this is a tight game. Okay, come on, Kenoshta. You can do it. Ooh, the Foxy Twins. I love this addition. Oh, look at that. They're so cute, look at that. Oh. 
Okay. I understand the nerves. Come on. Nice movement. There we go. Hi. Look at his face, I love it. <laughs> Is he doing an approach block? Okay, swing block, better. Please land in. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love it. All tied up, all tied up. <sighs> oh, I love that they're just still themselves no matter what. That was a good serve by Kenoshita to set that up. Mm. I love his determined face. Nice dig. Take a swing. He's going to get a running approach. Touch a second, touch a second. Oh, darn. I'm sorry, what? Um, okay. First of all, when the ball is on the net and both people go for it like that at the same time, it's called a joust. Okay? Jousts are challenging. They are hard. They're not... <sighs> I don't like them. You know who are really good at them? Setters. Setters always win them. Um, the key to winning a joust is to hit the ball second, because if you hit it second, the person pushes it into you, then you push back as they're falling and it goes to your side. If you push first, not always the best. So actually that's why smaller people are usually better at them because the tall person hits the ball first because their reach is higher they hit it first and then the other person while they're still on their way up hits it back stuff you never ask to know 
but you got it anyways. Um, I didn't like Osamu's attitude there. I understand getting blocked and wanting to make a point and being like, yeah, you're not that good, do it again. Been there, done that millions of times. I get it. But to say that, that is bold. That's all. Is that a new play? Oh, yes, that's the one where Hinata goes at the same tempo as everybody else. Mm. True. Just gotta keep reminding him. Cover. Okay. Oh. Come on. Who side did that land on? Okay. Right to Noya, baby. Yeah. Same tempo as everybody else. Very interesting choice. Okay, take your time. Okay. Te Whoa. I blew up the floor. Pick 
Careful, Jinx. Had to use it. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. Off the hands. Oh. Was that not on purpose? You know what? If he doesn't know what he's doing, neither does the other team. I'm not sure that was on purpose. Oh my gosh. Figure that was coming, but didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yes. I love this. He has worked on that routine. No. Reset, reset, come on. I'm going to cry. I have full body chills. <sighs> I have full body chills. I, oh my gosh. No, you cannot end like that. Oh, you're killing me. Oh. I'm so proud of him. I am so proud of him. My whole body was a big bump and I almost cried. Like, oh, Shimada, like, knew how to recenter him and refocus him. And I'm so happy that he was there to help him. And I like going into the match on that stage at that point in the set to serve when you haven't gone in once, I can't even imagine that is tough. That is so hard, especially being in a new situation like that. And I, I am so proud of him really. This team is no joke. Air Aran, Aran, you know who I mean, the left side from Inarizaki. He has been unstoppable. He's hitting over top of a triple block. That is challenging. You know what we haven't seen much of is any middle attacks, um, or we haven't really gotten to know the middles all that much. It's really been focusing on the twins and Aran. Um, so I'm wondering when they're gonna play a role. It's just the scary face guy. That's all we know about him. We had some punches. We had some counter punches, but as they said, we will really see how this game's gonna play out once both sides have shown their hands and have used all of their tricks and options. 
Karasuno has gone to a couple of them. We've seen Yamaguchi come in, Kenoshita has come in. We've seen the, the like ultra quick, the like freak quick. We've seen the blend get lost in the crowd kind of play. Back row attacks, like <laughs> Hinata blocking one-on-one. -on -one. They've seen Suki like show what he can do. I am not sure we have seen the same amount of depth from Inarizaki that they are capable of. So this is gonna be really interesting. Once all the cards are laid on the table, we will really start to see what is gonna happen next. Um, I feel like that point is gonna happen probably in the second set when it's just gonna be, okay, you've seen us, we've seen you, let's just use the information we have and go from there. Um, <sighs> This is gonna get wild. I wanna say I believe in Karasuno because they just, like I said, have that innate team aspect. But Inarizaki has been here before. They know how to adjust. They know how to win, obviously. So I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. I also kinda like the Inarizaki coach. To be honest, the way he talks to them, he's really calm. He, he, he like allows them to have some control, but he doesn't like put the extra pressure on. Anyways, I am hoping that set one ends with Yamaguchi at the service line. Like, yes. We will see. I asked some questions. I made some comments. So hit me up in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, you guys have not steered me wrong yet. You were 100% correct. This season is taking off like crazy and I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself, to be honest. I do not know, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, you're all full of actually amazing insights most of the time, so. Please do that and I would be so happy if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for episode 15 of Haikyuu season four coming next week. Thanks guys.